With the first prototype E8 Shinkansen being delivered to the depot, it's probably the right time to get into the train it will be replacing, the E3 series. A train that, much like the 500 series, seems to be impossible to kill, having run on the Tohoku, Joetsu, Yamagata and Akita Shinkansen lines throughout its long career. In 1997, JR East was set to open their new Akita Mini Shinkansen line between Morioka and Akita. To coincide with this, they needed a new state-of-the-art vehicle to run the line. This led to the need for a new Mini Shinkansen set. The Mini Shinkansen is a specification where existing conventional rail alignments are fitted with standard gauge track in place of Japan's typical narrow gauge and Shinkansen technology. This permits for high-speed units to travel away from a main high-speed network without incurring the huge cost of construction these main lines bring. The main difference for rolling stock is the loading gauge, as Mini Shinkansen units must be narrower than their mainline counterparts, fitting within the local line's limits, and the provision of extending footplates from underneath the doorways to fill the gap between the units and standard Shinkansen platforms. With JR East having the 400 series Mini Shinkansen unit in the fleet, it was only reasonable that they decided to use this as a base. However, this plan was shortly scrapped. The 400 series, while a good unit for its Yamagata Shinkansen duties, was designed using presently available technology and equipment. The new line would include a long high speed stint from Tokyo to Morioka. This meant that the new train would not be able to make use of heavy steel construction or the low speed of a 400 series. The designers went back to the drawing board. By this time, the project had found its way to the desk of legendary industrial designer Kenji Ekuan, a name that will become quite frequent across this series. Kenji was the brain behind many world-renowned products, including a large range of JR units, the bottle Kikaman uses for soy sauce, and the Yamaha VMAX motorcycle. He got to work, and this resulted in the base design of the E3 Shinkansen, an aluminium body construction, and the latest powertrain equipment and state-of-the-art aerodynamics allowed for a top speed of 275 km per hour, which resulted in the most advanced unit to ever be proposed for Japanese rail. With time being limited, the first prototype, set S8, was built and put on the rails. This unit differed to the production models by featuring three different models of pantograph, a different headlight design, a few additional windows, and a couple of minor rough edges in the design of a passenger compartment. Nonetheless, the unit was an instant hit in testing, meeting and exceeding almost all of its requirements. Two years after the first prototype had started construction, any design modifications required were made, and the production models were rolling out. With the opening of the Akita Shinkansen in 1997, the E3 Shinkansen made its way out onto the mainline for its first day of revenue service, where everything went smoothly. Everything would continue to run smoothly until a few days after the opening of the line, when all of the trains would run out of capacity. This was remedied in 1998, when all E3 sets became six cars long from their original five, as the demand for the line was understood to be substantially higher than originally expected. In 1999, the E3 1000 appeared on the line for the Yamagata Shinkansen to augment the 400 series fleet following the extension of the line to Shinjo. These extended seven-car sets were later joined by three Akita sets. These E3 1000 sets replaced the original white with pink cheat line for a cool silver with green cheat line and till bottom. These sets, being mini Shinkansen stock, were able to be transported to their depots from the factory by rail, with temporary narrow gauge bogies being attached and an emergency coupler used to hook it behind typical JR freight locomotives, something also seen in the original deliveries of these units in 1997. The last of the 1000 series units was delivered in 2005. Next up came time for the 400 series on the Yamagata Shinkansen, which would be replaced by new E3 2000 models. By this point, the E3 was a decade-old design, and some improvement was welcome. The new trains brought in active suspension, colour LED destination displays, and AC power outlets in all cars. But they did reduce seating capacity in two cars, by four seats, to provide uniform seating pitch in all cars. 
Previously, seating pitch in non-reserved cars was reduced, but by this point, all services were reserved seating only. Starting in 2010, the original E3 fleet, now called the E30, was marked for retirement. The new E6 Shinkansen unit was ready to enter service, leaving these sets surplus to requirements. The last six E30s to be built were retained, with two staying in their original specification and four upgraded to the 1000 model. Around this time, JR East started looking into running excursion services around the Shinkansen network for weekend tourism. With an abundance of older E3 sets on hand, having just retired them, one unit was taken to a workshop and transformed into a weekend getaway paradise. This set was R18 and became the E3 700 series. One car was fitted with traditional 2 plus 2 seating. This was followed by three cars full of traditional tatami seating, all with tables. A bar followed in the next car, with the rear end unit being the most surprising of all. This car features a foot bath. Externally, the unit was painted in a range of green hues. These rail excursions proved so popular that a second set, R19, was brought in and rebuilt into an art gallery on rails. Set R19, named the Gembi Shinkansen, featured a very green seating area, four cars of art gallery space, and one car with a children's play area. This set was seen in a movie by Brian Alfred, depicting the scenery of Niigata. Come 2014, the E6 has fully entered service and the remaining E3 sets were ready for refurbishment. This came with a new livery. This new livery featured a striking purple top with orange cheat line. This livery would stick around well into the future. The deep purple was to represent the mandarin duck, the animal of Yamagata, and the orange represented the safflower. At the time of writing, the E3's reign of Mini Shinkansen supremacy is coming to an end for the Yamagata Shinkansen, with the first E8 Shinkansen set being delivered to Sendai for testing. The E8 has retained the 2014 E3 livery, but will be able to introduce much higher service speeds, raising the bar from 275 km per hour to 300. This, paired with better traction and acceleration, will reduce services to Yamagata by some 20 minutes. A deeper dive into the E8 will be coming soon, when more information is made available regarding the unit. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this informative and entertaining. Take care and I'll see you next time.